Hello, my name is LFC and a D, or you can call me Way, and welcome back for another episode of my player with the Houston Dynamos. As you see here, we are go we're going up against the uh, Seattle Sounders, and the uh, manager's given me a bit of a report to look out for Michael Spurning, G Spurning, the man I believe he's from Austria. He is actually a pretty good goalie, 74 rated silver card in Ultimate Team, and I had him. And for a silver card, he was pretty good, pretty tall, so. He, he'll be a threat and goal, and it's going to be pretty difficult to get the ball past him. But we head into our first game of the episode versus the Sounders, Houston Dynamos, as I am playing up front once again with Wesley Brun. It's, it looks out to be a good one as we try to get our second win in three games. So far, we've got a win and a tie. It'd be great if we can get the season off on an, another win. So as we get started, in, early in the game, I get a break. I'm through. Can't possibly miss, right? I, I just missed. I, I can't. I can't believe I just missed from like six yards. I missed an easy shot with my left foot, my favorite left foot, and just uh, it's a poor season, it's a poor start to the season. Missing easy chances like that. I can't afford to do that. The manager is going to kick me out. But moving on, Sounders get a free kick here. Luckily, we didn't get a red card. To be honest, that player we, we was otherwise we were going to break if it wasn't pulling him back. So we we'll get a bit lucky here. Goalkeeper makes an easy save there, so on. And uh, I think that's how that's the yeah, half end is that way. And uh, to be honest, <laughs> the Sounders are on top of us. Um, we're not getting too many chances. And uh, although my family Martins is causing problems, the uh, they knew sign they signed him the uh, I believe like in March or something. I've recently updated the squad. That's why he's playing on the Sounders at the moment. But we head into the second half trying to gain the lead. And here we are, Houston playing some nice football here. Clark puts in a great cross, and all of us, he prunes has to do is tap that one in, slide that one in, and we are up 1 0. To be honest, Wesley Bruin not doing too bad, as much as I hate him for not passing to me. He was doing a pretty good job here at Dynamos. So, with the help of Clark and uh, Wesley Bruin, we go up here 1 0 against the uh, Sounders in the 55th minute. Now uh, we come back again, uh, attacking once again. I put the ball out wide to our winger. I get it back a, bit, a quick one-two, nice play. Puts it across. Oh, he actually takes a shot, and uh, G Spring comes out with a big save, and then another great save with his arm coming across his body from the finesse shot from I believe it was Clark. So uh, Madger was right about Spring being a bit of a hassle to get past, but I play in a great ball to our forward. Who muscles his way through, puts in a great cross, and uh, we are unable to. Our other forward is not able to finish that one, unfortunately. But uh, Sounders come back here as they look to get back on us to score a goal. They put in a cross. Oh, baby, Farm Martins misses the header, and uh, luckily for us, we managed to stay up top. I think that was their last chance of the game, and I think the game ends 1-0 here. Yep. We go away with a win against the Sounders, against Obelfield, May Martins, and the Sounders, and Spurning. And uh, it, was, it was a pretty boring game. You see, I get a 6.0, which is not the greatest. Pretty average. At least I didn't get below a 6.0. And uh, still a 66 rated overall. Didn't have the greatest games. I gotta really improve if I wanna show the manager that loaning me out isn't the greatest idea. Although I wouldn't mind a loan out to maybe one of the uh, Spain. Maybe second division in Spain, second division Bundesliga. I don't expect to go anywhere big, but uh, I still want to play well for the Dynamos. Maybe get them to that cup after failing. I believe two years in a row they got in the final of the MLS Cup, losing to L losing to LA in the last one. I believe as a I saw that one. It was unfortunate that the uh, Dynamos lost that one. But here's we go into our second game of the episode against the Chicago Fire, who who uh, recently acquired. Uh, uh, I believe it was his name, Arn Friedrich, who was a who was a uh, ger was a German international who, was, who had 82 caps. But now I think he's spending his last years in the Chicago Fire as a retired international. And uh, we here starts the game. Here I, I get the ball up on the wing. I cut inside, get a bit lucky here. It comes back to me. No cross on, so I, I go out and just win the corner. And uh, we get the corner, and off this corner we are able to get a great goal as Boswell towers over the defender and puts that in the back of net. Impossible for the goalie to save. We go 1-0 early in the game. Great start for the Houston Dynamos. But the uh but right here, oh the goalie gives me gives me an opportunity up and I, I try to finesse it in the goal and I missed. 
goalie. I shot it right at the goalie. And I, oh my god, another easy miss. The one from the last game and now this one. Oh, talk about easy miss, but bad misses. Just look at that. Oh, that was even worse than mine. Probably should be putting that way pretty easy, that man from Chicago. But uh, Chicago plays some nice football here. This passing around. They get be lucky. It bounces off a different. And then this guy, he misses as well. Oh, I guess you say it was a good save by the goalie. Taylor Hall, actually, this game was superb. As he managed to keep out mo all the shots in this game, getting a clean sheet. As you can see, some of his saves here. As uh, his Chicago keep pressing us. And he comes up, and this defender comes around. Hall comes up with another save. Taylor Hall is on top form at the moment as he is keeping us in these games. As I play a nice ball, expecting expecting Clark, I believe, to uh, you to volley that one. Instead, he heads it in and pretty poor miss to be perfectly honest. Not, uh, it may seem close, but I think had he volleyed that, he could have given Rayman the assist. I don't understand why he didn't volley that. It couldn't be an easier vo easier volley than head it in. As you see, halftime stats, Chicago on top, 55 possession. We only got 45. They got more shots, but we have the one goal lead, which is more important. So, as we go on in this game, I get the ball here. I do a fake shot, and here I take a shot with my left favorite left foot, and it's a goal. Raymond's second goal of the campaign in three games. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. As we were able to extend the lead to two after this nice goal. Not amazing, but still a nice goal as I try to regain form or get form get a good form because I haven't been playing, playing that well recently but Chicago come back here with it and this and they take a shot here oh and a nice palm saves by our goalie as he gets down low those other ones are pretty hard to get the ones near the ground and closest to the goalie but he manages to pick that one up Taylor Hall Chicago trying to get back at us trying to cut down that lead that two new lead we have but fortunately for us they weren't able to and uh, they get a corner here and they they whip this they, oh they don't actually they play a short one here and uh they put most of our defenders aren't pre pre weren't prepared for that and they and then uh Chicago end up giving it away and that is the end of the game as uh here the referee calls it two zero to Houston Dynamo so I believe that is two three wins and one tie in four games which is a great start for the Houston Dynamos as Boswell gets a header and I put in a goal with my left foot from just inside the box. And uh, I get a 7 point rating, which is not too bad. Hopefully, I get better ratings in the future as my player begins to prove. Still a 67 overall. But thank you guys for watching. And I do encourage you guys to leave feedback and comments below so I, I can answer them, improve on my videos. And uh, if you do want to see more videos and are enjoying the current videos, please subscribe or give a like. That would be much appreciated. Once again, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll soon post the next video.